differentiate e raised to power sin x with respect to x okay so um, what is fx we have fx is e raised to power sin x and we have to differentiate it with respect to x so what we do we write here differentiating with respect to x okay differentiation of fx is f dash x and e raised to power this sin x we consider as x so it is e raised to power x differentiation of e raised to power x is e raised to power x only and what we do we differentiate sin x again so it is e raised to power sin x same and differentiation of sin x is cos x so what we get we get d by dx of e raised to power sin x is equal to cos x into e raised to power sin x under root x square plus x plus 1 under root x square plus x plus 1 this we have to differentiate okay so we will consider this function as y and we write here differentiating with respect to y okay so differentiation of y will be dy by dx and this we consider root x differentiation of root x is 1 upon 2 under root x square plus x plus 1 and what we do we differentiate uh, x square x square plus x plus 1 again so it will be 1 upon 2 under root x square plus x plus 1 and uh, differentiation of x square is 2x and differentiation of x is 1 and differentiation of 1 is 0 so this will be our derivative x square plus a square raised to power n then prove that dy by dx is equal to ny upon under root x square plus a square you see here we have y is equal to x plus under root x square plus a square raised to power n we write here differentiating respect to x okay differentiation of y is dy by dx is equal this complete we consider x it is x raised to power n differentiation of x raised to power n is n x raised to power n minus 1 and what we do we differentiate x plus under root a square plus x square again you see it is n into this can be written as x plus under root x square plus a square raised to power n minus 1 it is same and you see when we differentiate x we will get 1 plus this we differentiate it will be 1 upon 2 under root a square plus x square and again a square plus x square we differentiate we will get 0 plus 2x this only it is now under root 
x square plus a square raised to power n minus 1 into by this 2, this 2 we cancel and this we take LCM. It is under root a square plus x square plus x upon under root a square plus x square. You can see here this base is same. So we add the power. Power of this is n minus 1 and power of this term is 1. So it will be, be x plus under root x square plus a square raised to power n and the denominator is under root uh, x square plus a square. Now you see what it will be. It will be n y upon under root uh, x square plus a square. You see this complete term we replace by y. So what you get, you will get it as dy by dx. If fx is x to the inverse x, then find f dash x by first principle. Okay, f dash x here, f dash x. You see, we have given fx is equal to x ten inverse x okay then we will find fx plus h that will be x plus h ten inverse x plus h okay and what is dy by dx dy by dx is uh, limit h tends to 0 fx plus h minus fx on h ok so these values we put here it will be limit h tends to 0 uh, x plus h ten inverse x plus h minus x ten inverse x upon h what we have done this fx plus h we put as x plus h ten inverse x plus h and this fx we put as x ten inverse x now it will be limit h tends to 0 this uh, x, uh, this 10 inverse x plus h we multiply to this x as well as to this h. So it will be x into 10 inverse x plus h plus h 10 inverse x plus h minus x 10 inverse x upon H. Now, from this and uh, this, we will take x common. It will be limit h tends to 0. x we take on common. It will be 10 inverse x plus h minus 10 inverse x and uh, upon h. Okay. Minus this one h 10 inverse x plus h h 10 inverse x plus h upon h this we separated out now by this h this h we cancel out and This will be uh, limit h tends to 0 x into this will be 10 inverse x plus h minus 10 inverse x. How we solve? 
we will apply here tan inverse a minus tan inverse b. Tan inverse a minus tan inverse b is equal to tan inverse a minus b upon 1 plus ab. This will be x plus h minus x upon 1 plus x plus h into x okay and upon this h we write as it is minus here we substitute the limit because h in the denominator cancelled out so it will be only 10 inverse x h we have substituted as 0 It will be 10 inverse x sorry it is limit h tends to 0 x 10 inverse h upon 1 plus x into x plus h what we have done x we cancelled out okay upon h minus 10 inverse x here we multiply and divide by this term that is divided by 1 plus x into x plus h and multiply by the same 1 plus x into x plus h we multiply and divided by 1 plus x into x plus h now you see it will be limit h tends to 0 huh? uh, this quantity will become 1. It will be x upon 1 plus x into x plus h minus 10 inverse x. You see we have a, an identity that is limit h tends to 0 10 inverse x upon uh, this is h. 10 inverse h upon h is equal to 0. Limit h tends to 0. 10 inverse h upon h is uh, it is 1. Okay. Limit h tends to 0, 0. 10 inverse h upon h is 1. So this limit limit h tends to 0. 10 inverse this we consider as h, h upon h. This is only 1. So what we get x upon 1 plus x into x plus h minus this 10 inverse x we write as it is. You see now it will be uh, here the denominator with this h will be cancelled out. So we will put h equal to 0 here. So it will become x upon 1 plus x square minus this 10 inverse x we write same and this will be our final answer. So we get d by dx of x ten inverse x is equal to x upon 1 plus x square minus 10 inverse x. You see if we solve it by direct formula If we use direct formula d by dx of here we apply product rule x we write same we differentiate 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse x we write same and we differentiate x x the same differentiation of 10 inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square plus here 10 inverse x same and differentiation of x is 1 
so what we get we get x upon 1 plus x square plus 10 inverse x okay so uh, you see this is plus no so here we'll get plus sign plus sign We are getting this solution. Thank you.